I've been having some issues with my double garage door. Uh, it seems that uh, something may have changed since uh, when I installed my garage door opener. Not the best garage door opener for this, this type of door. I haven't really satisfied with it, but that's a different story. Uh, I've worn out a carriage or two so far. Uh, my door has started to bow a little bit in the middle. And when it closes, it uh, has a bit of a jumping sound to it. So I've got a feeling that one of my springs may be uh, broken. So this is a, um, <clears throat> a Wayne Dalton type uh, door. The springs are actually inside by this tube on the top, just for a little bit of added safety. So uh, what I'm going to do is weigh the door as is and then um, turn down the tension and then weigh the door again and see if it's actually heavier or not. If the door is heavier with less tension, obviously the spring is intact. If it's the same, then there is a broken spring. So to start off, I need to get a baseline weight of the garage door. You're better off using a bathroom scale. Um, I don't have one, so I'm just going to use a luggage scale. Not very convenient, but it's going to work. Starting off, both sides, both uh, ends of my garage door where the spring is, set to 20. So I get a baseline reading and then lower one to about 15. Then take a reading, uh, a weighing, and then uh, put it back and then do the same thing with the other one. And that should give me an idea if there's an issue with the spring. So a baseline before I start. So I'm taking my first reading from the middle of the garage door. I'm just going to use this block of wood here so I don't damage the garage door itself. Put that up underneath and put the scale like this. And then when I lift the scale, it should be my reading of how heavy, uh, how heavy the door is. So I'm just going to use one hand to keep it in place, another hand to lift. Accuracy is not really important. There should be a major difference between the, uh, when the spring is on or off. should be uh, several several pounds. So if I lift it like this. Alright, let's give it a shot. So you're looking at about 60 pounds. Didn't see the, the dent that I put in the board there. So 60 pounds with uh, as a baseline. So this is how you change the uh, tension on the spring. There's instructions on that red card. Make sure you leave that there. Um, you can use, uh, this is just a drill, um, and you just change it, you just uh, unwind it, and you can see the, the gear is moving. There you go, and then bring it down to 10. Okay, so I have turned the tension down. So the tension now is down around 10. So I'm gonna weigh the door and, uh, and see what the, what the result is. So there's obviously no difference in the weight from when the uh, spring is at uh, setting at 20 versus setting at 10 on this side. So let's, uh, let's try the other side, but I got a feeling this is an issue. Maybe both springs are broken or are having problems. So let's just give it a try on this side. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the other side. And I know you shouldn't be doing this with a drill. You should be using a socket set, but taking my time. All right, so it's gonna try manually, let's see it. Oh, there's an obvious major difference in the weight of the door. All right, let's just put some numbers to it. Okay. And, uh, I can't even get it off the ground and it hit 80 pounds. So that's uh, an, an obvious sign. This spring is having uh, issues. So let's, uh, let's get that fixed. I think we safely diagnosed the issue here. When the tension is removed on each side separately and the door is weighed, there is no difference 
on the right side when the tension is brought down, but on the left side there is a difference. That indicates that the spring on the left side is working and the spring on the right side is not. So it looks like I'll need to go and pick up some parts. So join me again soon on how to replace the spring in a garage door.